Thank you for joining. And today we're gonna to take a look at a style of shoe. Uh, and what this is, is a split toe blucher. Now, a split toe blucher just means that it is not a traditional derby, meaning that it doesn't have a piece here that's a separate piece. It is a single piece on the sides with or without a heel cap. Um, and then a certain number of eyelets here. And then the split toe is this part here and then it has this apron around it. Now that apron can look a little different depending on the style. And so we've got a few different things that we can do with this. So this is a Chao Torres. This has a cemented sole, but a very, very cool one. Um, this is a, a very high-end bespoke quality from Macariello, um, which is also in Peccary, just two different kinds of Peccary. And then, um, we have a pair in Shell Cordovan here, which is from uh, Blazing Wonders. Now this is a Norvegese stitch that's there, like a 180. Now again, it's got the little blucher thing, and then this has a, uh, a heel cap as well. No seam on this one, that's a, a variation you get as well. Uh, this is a Meerman. This is a Utah calf, this has the, um, uh, Norvegian stitch all the way around the back. Um, very, very similar to the others, uh, but a very different level of quality um, in this. This is another Meerman. Now this one is actually in what they call Willow Calf. All right, same model as the other. Now here we have one which is uh, in just plain museum calf, and this is from Raymar, which is made in China, but it's a Japanese company. All right, different, uh, different one there. Now this one we have is a bison, and this also is a 360, but a very simple, not a braided Norwegian stitch. So different there. Now this one is um, Japanese, made in Japan. This is a Yohai Fukuda, all right? And that's a different stitch but everything else is the same as the others. Now, this is also from Japan, and this is, that is pebble grain. This is a different um, hatch grain, but this is a, a, an anane hatch grain, and this is from Hiro Yanamagachi. Um, very, very high-end, um, different proportions. Um, actually, proportions, more similar to this one, which is probably the grandpappy of these um, from a Goodyear Welted perspective, which is an Edward Green Dover, this one in hatch grain. Now, this is an October 10th. This actually has a combination of suede and French calf, a little different, much smaller proportions on the heel cap, um, different sole, but another one there. And then here we are back to the Chao Torres. So different uh, different options. I have others in bison and, 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 and so forth. So different, uh, different styles. And then of course I have some that are actual derbies which we'll review in another video. So from a style showcase perspective, you can see this is a style that looks good in combination leathers and all kinds of different leather types. Uh, soft leathers as well as very structured leathers as well as your traditional dress shoes. So it uh, can be a really great thing to have and um, uh, add variety to the wardrobe. Thanks for watching.